Hey y'all, welcome back. If you don't know me, I'm TK, and this channel is all about doing a little bit of makeup, doing some food, and having a lot of fun. And if that sounds like a good time to you, then go ahead, do all the YouTube-y things, and hit the subscribe button. Make sure notifications are turned on. Leave a like on this video. How is everyone today? I hope you're all doing really well. We are back for another round of Baroque Ass Reviews. What we're doing this week is from Family Dollar. So I don't know if everybody has Family Dollars. I think they're pretty much a nationwide chain. They do have a decent makeup section. But this week is part one of our Family Dollar review. Uh, throughout this series, we're going to see definitely more LA colors, see a few more brands that you might be familiar with on that level. If all this sounds interesting to you, then stick with me. We'll be right back. You ever find yourself just a little too broke to afford that brand new launch? Me too. I might get it in a couple of weeks, but not today. You know, that don't mean that you're too broke to get a little something, something new for yourself. But what? And where? And is it even going to be any good? Well, that's what we're here to find out. This is Broke Ass Reviews. The brows are done this time with a brow pomade. I don't usually use a brow pomade for the reason that my brows are very sparse. I don't have a lot of hair. And part of what a pomade does is it keeps your hair in place. It's actually a very big part of what it does. I just usually use like pencils or um, powder, something that provides color. This is actually raw pomade though, and I wanted to try it just for the little bit of hair that I have. It is, a, again, it's from LA Colors. It's this right here, Browy Wowie. Um, I brow pomade. This color is in, I'm almost blind, <laughs> soft brown. Uh, which seems perfect for me. It's really nice. Have I used the one that everybody goes crazy for, the Anastasia brow pomade? I haven't. Um, again, I don't really use brow pomades, but as pomades go, which I have used before and uh, for my hair, uh, this is fine. And um, it cost me two bucks. And I would say that maybe if you need to pick one up or you forgot your ABH one, um, this would actually be a pretty good deal. It comes with its own brush, but any spoolie brush will do, obviously. Uh, I kind of like it. I actually like the color of it because I feel like it's a little bit more normal for me. Whereas um, pencils usually tend to be kind of too dark for me. They're either too dark or they're too light. And I kind of like this one's pretty much spot on for the color. So that's what's already on my face. Um, let's go ahead and get started with an eye look. This is the BYS Be Yourself Peach Eyeshadow Palette. Now I had not heard of this brand until I found them at Family Dollar. Um, the layout of their palette looks a lot like the um, Naked palettes. This one's really pretty though. I like it because it's obviously peach. It says peach. <laughs> I like it because of the pretty um, peachy colors, the browns. Um, they have several of these. They have a store on Amazon and there's not a whole lot about them. They're just like we set out to make inexpensive cosmetics and colorful things and they have a lot of variety so you can check them out on amazon uh bys is the name of their store so we're going to do an eye look with this one today and it's definitely going to be a peachy one because that's really what i'm in the mood for and they've got some nice mattes in here mostly shimmers in this palette but those shimmers are not going to be like knock your socks off shimmers so let's get ready and get started on a look um, this is a dark shimmer feel like he's gonna be a big player today at least on that outside corner and then i'm probably gonna play with stuff right here in this group that peach maybe i don't really like that mustardy mustardy well it's more of an orange color it kind of picks up as mustard on my screen so I'll probably play with this peach, possibly this reddish color, and maybe some of these shimmers down here. There, there's no names of the colors, nothing clever going on here. Um, this is just a really basic palette, but the idea is it was $14. 
and there's a lot of versatility here there are brown looks there are copper looks there are peach looks there's even like a reddish color here that I feel like it's gonna play out as more of a, a pink so there's lots of transition shades here so I feel like this is um, that this palette is gonna be really really versatile so let's find out I'm starting with that whoa okay wasn't expecting a, a ton of pigment there I'm working with that um, can we do an eye look with all shimmers is that legal are we allowed do what you want seriously like yes um, there is color theory and stuff but you know what it's all about what can you pull off and um, also what do you like be creative I mean everybody's like mm, I need a good mat for that mm, come on girl I'm from the 80s we did everything in glitter I know you 90s kids are out there like sound away yeah you did y'all did y'all did y'all carried the torch I like this nice neutral neutral this like a nice neutral deep brown that's going in there I love it need me a little floofy brush because we'll buff that out a little bit with grabbing that right there and we're gonna go in oh that is beautiful and peachy a little fallout a little fallouty here but that buffs out nicely man I, okay I said these shimmers weren't gonna be like pow in your face but actually this one is is really really pretty I expected it to be a little bit darker it's a little darker in the pan but um this one's really really lovely so next I'm gonna just cut my crease so if you pick up one of these palettes it's really inexpensive and it's not very pigmented one of the things that's gonna help you a lot is if you go ahead and actually um, do a do something like this like a white base or something like that it can be a white eyeshadow that you you know you use with a little bit of liquid you can do that um, or you can actually buy a base if you want um, in this case I'm gonna pull some of this right there in the center I'm just going in actually with a mat right here and I'm gonna make that like a, a little transition there and then go over with that gold it gives you a, it gives this like nice copper look did we just do a copper eye a Manny MUA that's a beautiful nice neutral eye nothing special nothing spectacular doesn't have to be but um it really that just really shows the versatility of this palette and for 14 bucks you can do a bunch of other looks a bunch of other looks like this back into that peach color bring that down a little bit further just because it's lighter you could do that you can bring it down a little further not too bad Whew. so there we have a nice peachy copper eye I like it I like it was easy to do these colors blend well they're not tremendously pigmented but they certainly get the job done and they're buildable it's from BYS peach eyeshadow palette and this palette doesn't lend itself to like super glam everyday driver office look type palette but this haul in particular was very palette heavy I didn't really find any products that were um, a lot different than the ones that I have found at Dollar General which I guess you could probably imagine but um, as we go forward with this with the family dollar series we're gonna look at probably more than one palette in each video but 
for this video I wanted to just profile this one this BYS peach eyeshadow palette because it is so so close to the naked palettes in its design and um, there's just so many options with it I absolutely love that I know this is like the fifth time I've showed it to you but I just absolutely love that there's so many options with that palette so what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and do foundation and I'm gonna okay so we're back with some foundation on um one of the things i wanted to show you too that i got with this haul um were these brushes they are by a company called modessa i got these three i think they're adorable they're like the pink and purple i mean like that yeah aren't they cute pink and purple like that um they are one dollar each you know this is a nice brush that's very soft and it works just fine it's a power you know obviously a powder brush and it works just fine and the powder that i'm using is from elf whoops <laughs> well you can't count my um lack of aim against the brush okay <laughs> What I'm using is this e.l.f. powder. It is the e.l.f. HD powder, and it doesn't have a it doesn't have flashback. I'm just using like kind of a neutral. It's just a. It's called soft luminance. 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 Okay. Um, and this this powder is pretty inexpensive too. I think uh, I want to say it was like seven bucks, but the thing is, there's a lot of it. I couldn't believe how much product was actually in there. And Elf is one of those brands too. I feel like, and the, and that you know that kind of takes me into the next product that that kind of takes me into the next product that we have is the and i i got obsessed with these as soon as i saw them because um i like cream products i do like cr cream products um i like cream products that can be used over top of your foundation and don't remove them like some other brands cream products act more as a foundation remover now you guys know i don't drop names like that I don't throw shade at brands, but it rhymes with rare beauty. And this e.l.f. putty blush, I just got obsessed with it. This one, I don't remember the color. I really wish e.l.f., if you could, please, I really wish you would put the color. Now watch somebody go, oh, they do put it on. You're just too blind to see it. That's always a possibility. Let's see if they did actually put this on here. They put it on there. You're just too blind to see it. This is in Turks and Caicos. And it is on there, but it's just really hard to see. Um, I got obsessed with these e.l.f. putty blushes because I think it's fun to do, like, if you're using something like a um, tinted moisturizer, you can use these under your tinted moisturizer to give you, like, a smoother, um, more finished look. And... Um, you can even use them under like medium coverage foundation. So that's what I, I mean, I, that's how I got obsessed with them. Also, they came with this little cute brush. And again, not taking off that powder, not taking off the foundation. It is just going on beautifully with a beautiful finish and beautiful color. And so even sometimes if you pay a little bit more for a product, when it has tremendous value, and that's where the e.l.f. brand comes in, is the price point isn't your dollar general. It's not family dollar. But it's just above that, and yet the quality is like this should be a $38 blush. So when you can find stuff like that, that is that is also worth spending the little bit of extra money when you're going to get that kind of value. 
So let's do our contour. So I wanted to take a look at a contour palette um, that I bought a little bit ago. This was Wet n Wild Contour Palette. There you go. I had to kind of turn it sideways so you can see the writing. Um, it's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. This is kind of a nice, cool color. Perfect for contouring, obviously. I've been loving it for contour. Great contouring palette. You can contour your nose with this too. I haven't been doing the nose contour stuff much lately because sometimes I think there is no hope for my nose in terms of making it look smaller, but we can do that. We can do it with this. When you're really trying to shade that and make the nose look smaller, it's better if you blend that line. So I'm gonna just grab a, like a touch of bronzer and warm up that line between our blush and our contour. There we go. So now we're all bronzed up. Uh, that bronzer I'm using, by the way, is uh, Revolution Ultra Bronze. I don't know how much this is. I, it may not really be, it may not really fit our profile here for broadcast reviews. Um, but I did get it for $2 because I got it on sale. So I do try to shop the sales as much as possible. Um, my niece mascaras and mixers keeps me abreast of 99% of sales. Honestly, I think she should just start a service. You should head over her channel and tell her to start that service. Cause honestly, I cause seriously, I have got stuff like two, three dollars, fifty percent off, seventy percent off, just because she was like, "Hey, did you know so and so's having a sale today?" And so that's another way to be broke but still get new makeup is. Heavily shop those sales and we will do an episode like this, but right now I'd like to concentrate on some of the, um, some of the lesser known brands, you know, they're obviously they're lesser known because they're sold maybe even what you would call below the drugstore level at like family dollar and dollar general and dollar tree. But there's these brands can still be good and you can still pick up new stuff and fun stuff and they have fun stuff and colorful stuff. And that's what we're kind of like here to talk about. Um, all my peach highlighters so far have come from one source and that is mascaras and mixers because when she does like a ruthless declutter, I'm like right there going, yes, yes, I will take that. But I'm getting ready to do a shop miss a haul. And so I think I will, so I will get some peach highlighters through that one. Shop Miss A is amazing and you probably know about it. I've already done one haul. I'm going to do another one because the one that I did before I was just concentrating on one um, brand that they have, which is the AOA brand. But this time, honey, I am going in this time. Okay. So speaking of my Shop Miss A haul, um, this this lovely peach diamond lip gloss, $1. And I'm gonna use it today just in um, conjunction with a peach pen. And that's how we're gonna do lips today. Beautiful. All right, is that not gorgeous? That could be a nice summer look too, I think. Okay, so this is our final look. We have a very peachy lip and a very copper eye, I guess. <laughs> Let's go ahead and recap our Rogas reviews. This week begins our Family Dollar Haul and 
um, the first thing that we used today was the, the LA Colors Brow Pomade. Um, I really like it. I think it works fine. But the, the thing is, I don't really have um, super, like, I don't have a lot of hair in my brows. So for the pomade part, I think it works fine. I've, I've used pomades before for my hair. And this, this I think would give you plenty of control. As for the shade, I think the shade is perfect for me. Um, and, uh, and that's kind of a first for me where brows are concerned. So that's the LA Colors Wowie Browy Brow Pomade. Next thing is the BYS Peach Eyeshadow Palette. BYS stands for Be Yourself. They have a store on Amazon. You can check out their stuff. They're basically like, we wanted to make affordable cosmetics and we're not afraid to play with color. And I have to agree with the beautiful neutrals, shimmers, peaches in this palette. I really like it. There is a, this is peach one. There is a peach two that has a lot more um, of the kind of peachy pinks and peaches in it. So you can check that out too on the Amazon website. This was $14. I paid $14 for this at Family Dollar. I think the peach two is priced at about 16 but definitely worth it. Lots of versatility here, lots of looks, could be a daily driver. And so for 16 bucks, like I said, this one was 14, but for 16 bucks, um, to have a great versatile daily driver like this, that is a real bargain. The next thing are these gorgeous brushes. This one is, I've used it, so it's dirty, but we got these gorgeous brushes from Modessa and these were $1 each. Very nice brushes, very um, super soft, handy. They are a lot like the, this one's kind of fuzzy though. I think it was the, the packaging, but um, but yeah, they're really nice, really handy. They're, to me, they're, you know, similar in quality to just about any, any bargain brush that you pretty much pick up. Um, the next thing is this Wet n Wild contouring, contouring palette. I picked this up for $3 and, um, this is in the shade Dolce de Leche, Dolce de Leche, Dolce de Leche. I don't know how to say that. That's a shame. I will learn. Uh, anyways, this picked this up. Picked this up for three dollars, and um, it really works well. And what I love about this is obviously the formula is great, but this this is actually a cool color. I don't know why we're seeing this recently, but so many contouring palettes, contouring palettes, are being warm and bronzy, and they're not supposed to be contour is shadow it should have a gray base so um i was really happy to pick this one up and especially for that price we talked also about the elf brand this is the putty blush and this is their hd powder elf is a great bargain brand in that no it is not priced like your dollar general or your family dollar product but it is just above your it is just above that more at the drugstore basic drugstore level however they pack their containers full of product and the product is very high quality and that in and of itself is worth the price that creates a ton of added value to the product so it doesn't have to be two dollars three dollars or five dollars so Elf is still a great broadcast review bargain brand that I'm going to recommend. <laughs> and finally, our lip was the AOA Diamond Lip Gloss Hard Can in Hard Candy. That is $1. That is a huge value. This is through Shop Miss A. This is one of their brands. And anytime you buy something from the AOA studio, 
it is um, anytime you buy something from the AOE studio on shop Miss A it supports uh, it goes to support animals that is everything today for our bowl gas review. I hope you liked hanging out and doing this. Um, as I said, going forward, we're going to be doing probably a couple of palettes uh, per video, but I wanted to just profile this one because I really, really liked it. I hope wherever you are, you're having a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, or a great night. I hope that you're being good to yourself, and I hope that you're being good to each other. Take care, and as always, I will see you in my next one. Bye, y'all. New Benzini dripping, fucking bleeding out my sneaks. Throw my crown at your face in case you forgot I was king. I hope it leaves a mark if you forget where you're destined to be. Uh, higher than wings flying outside a desert, Saria. <laughs>